For all of our viewers across Africa and the rest of the world, this is NC Continental Prime. I am Dakbo Adigboyi. We begin in West Africa where the Supreme Court reserved judgments in two appeals filed by Badibo Rosviva, candidate of the Labour Party, LP, and his counterpart in the People's Democratic Party, Aziz Adedira, uh, against the election of the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Somwolu. The appeals by Rods Viva and Adenira are against the earlier judgments of the Court of Appeal in Lagos, which affirmed the two decisions of the election tribunal, which dismissed their petition, challenging Somolu's victory in the last governorship polls. A five-member panel of the Supreme Court presided over by Justice John Okoro told parties that they would be informed when the judgments are ready. Deputy Governor Femi Amzat, Secretary to the State Government, Abim Bola Salu Udeni, and uh, some other senior officials of the Lagos State Government witnessed the court session. Staying in Nigeria, the National Assembly may pass the 2024 budget of 27.5 trillion naira on Saturday, as about uh, 541 ministries, departments, and agencies of the federal government conclude their defense. The chairman of the Senate Committee on Appropriation, Adiola Solomon, says the upper legislative chamber would resume plenary on Wednesday. According to him, his committee has uh, opened its secretariat with all subcommittees of the Senate uh, where they will submit their reports. He also expressed confidence that the Committee on Appropriation would submit its report on Thursday, adding that the budget would be passed on Saturday. On November 29th, President Bola Amitin will present a budget of 27.5 trillion naira to a joint session of the National Assembly. A report published by the Central Bank of Nigeria shows the banking industry's average net liquidity has decreased to 300.68 billion naira in August 2023 from 562.04 billion naira in the preceding month. The moderation in liquidity has been due to the auctioning of CBN bills, FGN bonds, NTBs and cash reserve ratios, CRR debits. The amount of CRR debited by the central bank from banks in Nigeria varies depending on the specific date and bank's individual circumstances. The current CRR in Nigeria is at 32.5%, effective May 26, 2023. This means banks must keep at least 32.5% of their total deposit in non-interest-bearing accounts with the CBN. I'm now joined by Okpo Ulua Taiwo, Executive Director, Africa Bridge Initiative from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you so much for your time, Okpo Ulua. All right. Thank you for having me. All right, great. Now, the National Assembly may pass the 2024 budget of about uh, 27.5 trillion naira on Saturday. Let's uh, quickly hear your thoughts on the funding and implementation, especially with the state of the nation's current economy. For the Nigeria economy, talking about the year 2024 budget, uh, in the past we've been seeing more of a deficit budget in Nigeria. Apparently, and, uh, too many supplementary budgets coming in later part of the year, and that has been the consistent character of the Nigerian economy system. We are not expecting anything new in the year ahead based on the fact that there are too many inconsistency in the economy policy, especially from the financial sector. There are too many inconsistency, there are too many imbalance in the policies. When the policies are not balanced, the, 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 the players within the economy will not be satisfied, will not be, will not be free to move freely within the economy. Because there are a lot of environment factors that determine how the economy should flow. We talk about the internal environment, we talk about the external environment. There are a lot of foreign direct investment that, has, that is leaving the country on a daily basis. We have some multinational companies closing and winding up, leaving the economy. And that means there's a lot to be done by the Nigerian government. The 2024 budget that will be passed shortly, uh, we need more of the capital uh, expenditure. The capital expenditure needs to put more on the infrastructural aspect of the economy. Mm. Because when you have too much of recurrent expenditure, then that means you're not ready to grow your economy. So we are looking forward to a more robust uh, financial year 
in year 2024, but the government must look beyond the budget and work with, especially within the internal stakeholders, for us to have a robust financial and a fiscal year ahead in 2024. Now, do you think the auctioning of assets like the uh, CBN bills, uh, FGNs, bonds, and also the NTBs, you know, responsible for the scarcity of cash in the country at the moment? Okay, for the for the various bonds and the uh, the, the the product being sold by the, the financial market, that is not the that is not the effect on the economy. Even the CBN is not having the enough grip on the economy. The CBN, the CBN is not having enough grip on the economy Wh yet. Why is that? So, why so do you think the CBN blaming, doesn't have enough grip on the economy? Now, when, when we say not having enough grip on the economy, there are too much of fluctuation in the economic policies, and that is bringing about increase in the consumer price index. When the consumer price index is high, then the inflation will be high. So there is not enough grip by the CBN. So we can't say those uh, products and those uh, figures bringing out by the CBN is causing the, the, uh, the deficit in the economy. No. A lot of unstructured and uh, unregulated market is determining the market. So we should stop allowing the, the invisible one to determine how the economy should run. There must be proper structure in our economic uh, policy. I mean, a stable economy policy. Okay. Yeah. So that the various stakeholders, the MSME, the SMEs, can have a, fo a, a what a consistent projection in their plan, in their financial year, in their budgeting. Because the, it's one thing to have the, the, the federal government budget. It's another thing to have individual company must have its own financial year, financial budgeting. So All right. I, I, I mean, I, I just want to come in here in economy, terms of policy intervention. The SME economy also is not consistent. All right. Now, talking about policy intervention, the CBN said that there were interventions in the money market through the conduct of open market operations, uh, auctions in the review month. Now, I, I would like to know, what impact do you think this particular move has had? Now, those uh, the move by the CBN. It's going to have some uh, uh, majorly one of the reasons why the CBN is bringing those impact is for us to have a reduction in our inflation rate. Don't forget, when, when we have too much of money in supply, money in circulation, the inflation will go high. And when the inflation is going now, the, the SME space is having too much of inconsistency to work with because we have what we call the forex trading. For the SMEs to, to work around, for them to have uh, returns on their investment. We have too many products for them to work with. But the unexpected economic disruption is causing the SME not to have enough return on their investment. So the CBN is still on the right path, having to work with the money supply and circulation so that we can have reduction in our inflation within the economy. All right. Now, the stock market has been showing some impressive figures lately. And, of course, uh, we've seen also that uh, the fixed market, you know, uh, there are projections also in that regard. Now, do you see the same uh, thing happening to fixed income markets in terms of the level of returns? Yeah, for the, for the fixed income market, uh, it has never been consistent. It is one thing to fix the market. It's another thing to have a consistent figure. In the past, in the last five years, in the last, we're having a lot of uh, public individuals coming on board, investing in the federal government bonds. But what are we having today? The interest rate is coming down day by day. So the return on investment is going down on a daily basis. So the SME are not secure within the environment of the federal government bonds and the rest. So on the, on the one hand, the investment returns is dwindling. On another hand, it is another safer arena for the investors. Because you know that from the beginning, you know that if you are giving 3%, your 3% is guaranteed. Not like other unregulated market, whereby you'll be promised uh, 30%, 20% return on investment. And six months down the lane, 
you'll be shocked to see that you're having about a 40%, you're having 20%, you're having 10% as your return investment, unlike the fixed market. So the fixed market is still a good one for the SME to play around with because from the beginning, the market is sustainable. Even though the uh, profit margin is All not right. yet encouraging. So the profit margin needs to be built for for right. the SME space to be more safer within the economy space. All right, Okpa Uluwa Taiwo, Executive Director, Africa Bridge Initiative from Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, once again, thank you so much for your time. All right, thank you for having me.